All right, guys, I'm back again, 2006 Bounder, level legs problem. I sent my stuff in on my first video. This is the update number one. I sent it to Control Lab Systems. There is the information if you need to send your stuff there. So very nice people. Um, it's not cheap. It cost me a couple hundred bucks. They sent my stuff back. It was bubble wrapped. It's put inside these very nice little envelopes. My control unit and my keypad. Um, I got a uh, my all my technical documents and clothes showing that they tested everything. Um, unfortunately, in my situation, they're saying that my components, my keypad. Uh, my control unit is in proper working order. So, um, if you watch my first video, the problem that I was having was my left front leg was showing that an, there was an error. When I put power to that leg, it does go up and down freely, and there's no obstructions, there's no binding, there's no anything. So, I thought there might have been a problem with the unit itself. I found this company, sent it in. Um, they were very nice. They called me on the phone. They double-checked everything um, uh, about why I was sending the unit in. We talked on the phone. He said, I've got it hooked up um, to a set of level legs here. Everything's working fine. There are no errors whatsoever with the control unit or the keypad. Um, so now, I have to go back to the left front leg. Um, I found out some more information about checking the amperage. It shouldn't pull no more than 20 and no less than 5. If it does, the system will recognize an error and throw an error code. Um, I had another guy um, message me and said to check my spur gear and some roll pins in there um, once I pull the leg apart. Um, since everything's going up and down, I can't imagine that there's a spur gear or something that is broken. But you know what? I'm not an expert on this stuff. I have been looking around trying to find a leg. I haven't been very successful. These, As you guys know, they're not available on the market. Um, they're not making replacement parts or anything. So anything you find is used. And if you buy something, you buy a leg for a thousand bucks or whatever, um, you just got to hope and pray that it's going to work. Uh, I did try to reach out to a person that does electrical motor repair because that's basically all it is is an electric motor hooked up to some drive gears um, and some gear reduction stuff in there uh, unfortunately i got the wrong phone number so i'm searching for somebody that does repair on electric motors so if if it is it happens to be the electric maybe i can get the motor rebuilt um, or something like that i have no idea at this point so very nice job. I'm going to pull it out of the packaging here for you guys. I got one hand. So so here's the unit. They cleaned it up, fixed it up really nice. Watch out. Both of these broke off when I pulled my plugs. He says that's a common problem. They see it all the time. He did repair these for me. Um, I've got to pull the, the one plug off of the one wires. Um, it doesn't want to come loose, so I got to fix that. Um, but they clean everything up, they check everything, they go through everything, they inspect everything. Um, like I said, this all in all, this cost me a couple hundred bucks, I think like two or 250 with shipping and everything. I'm all the way across um, the opposite end of the United States from this company. So, you know, I had to pay premium price for shipping. Um, and then it was like $199, I think, for the repair. Or for the tech, they didn't repair anything. They just basically checked everything out, went through everything. They did repair the two little things here, but everything else is working fine. So this is just an update, number one, because I did have some people reach out. They wanted an update. This did take a bit of time to ship this back, to have the company, you know, get it into their system, check it, call me, fix it, and then get it back to me. So this is just update number one. I'm going to put all this stuff back together. I'm going to check the system once again. If the system's still in error, 
I've got to pull that one leg off and start digging into that. So that's where we're at with update number one. I will come back at you um, once I find out anything further after I put this in. I just don't have time to do it right now. I've got another uh, project that I have to get to that's more pressing than this one right now. But this one's coming up because summertime is here and it's time to travel. And I've got a trip planned and I really don't want to go without my self-leveling system. It's going to be not fun. So anyway, I'll get back to you. Um, I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to hook all this up. I'm going to put my power probe um, to power. And then what I'm going to try to do is where the plug is, I'm going to try to check it from the plug right here. The plug that plugs into this module, I'm going to find the right front leg uh, or the left front leg. Excuse me, left front leg, people. Um, and I'm going to check the, I'm going to put a power probe to it and I'm going to run the leg up and down and I'm going to try to put a volt meter on it or an amp meter on it at the same time. And so I can check the amps when it's running free and then I can check the amps when it hits the, hits the ground and starts to push up uh, under load. Maybe I'll be able to do that with two hands maybe i won't i probably won't be able to film it because i don't have a little tiny tripod to set up in here but i'll let you guys know how that works out so this is where we're at right now if you guys do need uh some repair i don't they don't repair the legs i'm pretty sure they only work on these two components but i could be wrong you could contact them check their website and there it is Control System Labs is who I went to. Um, there's the website and the phone number. All right, that's update number one, guys. I got to run. I'll talk to you soon.